For this hairstyle, I'm going to start by picking up a section of hair at the center of my forehead and divide it into three pieces for the braid. I'm going to begin a French braid, so I'm going to cross the right strand over the middle, then cross the left strand over the middle. Now I'm going to cross the right strand over the middle, pick up a new section and cross it over and into the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the left strand over the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it over and into the middle strand. Now I'm going to begin waterfalling the side strands, so I'm going to drop down the right strand, pick up a new section from right behind it, and cross this over the middle strand in place of the dropped piece. Then I'm going to drop down the left strand, pick up a new section from right behind it, and cross it over and into the middle strand in its place. So once more, I'm going to drop down the right strand, pick up a new section of hair right behind the dropped piece, and cross it over the middle strand into the braid. Then I'm going to drop down the left strand, pick up a new section, and cross it over the middle strand in place of the dropped piece. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, continuing the braid down the center of the back of my head, until the braid reaches the nape of my neck. Once the braid reaches the nape of my neck, I'm going to slide a bobby pin over the right side of the braid so it doesn't unravel. Now I'm going to pick up a section of hair on the right side of my head and divide it into three pieces for the Dutch braid. I'm going to cross the left strand under the middle strand and then cross the right strand under the middle strand. Then I'm going to cross the left strand under the middle, pick up the first waterfall piece and cross it under and into the middle strand. Then I'm going to cross the right strand under the middle, pick up a new section and cross it under and into the middle strand as well. And I'm just going to continue the Dutch braid, adding in the waterfall strands to the left side of the braid and sections from along the hairline on the right side until all of the hair on this side is brought into the braid. Then once the braid reaches the nape of my neck, I'm going to tie off the bottom of the braid with a clear elastic band. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps and create a second Dutch braid with the hair on the left side of my head, adding the waterfall pieces into the right side of the braid, and hair from along the hairline to the left side of the braid, until all of the hair is brought into the braid. Then once the braid reaches the nape of my neck, I'm going to tie off the end of the braid with a clear elastic band. Now I'm going to go back over the braids and pull on the edges just to make them a little bit bigger. Then I'm just going to wrap a small section of hair around each elastic and secure it underneath with a bobby pin.